Yo, 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 it's your boy Weston Tech here to bring you another one of my personal favorite tech tips to help you as an artist grow your craft. Now, today we're going to be discussing Symphonic's new stream safe feature, all right? So if you're a recording artist who's currently using Symphonic as your music distribution company, then this is the perfect video for you because in this video, I'm going to be discussing their new stream safe feature. All right. Now, before I continue, I definitely want to let you guys know about my free music business checklist that's available to download off of my website right now. This is for any one of you guys who's looking into starting your own music business, but don't quite know where to start. With this free tool, you'll be able to identify three things that you could do right away to start your own music business. So if you want to access that free tool today, you can click on the link above. I'll also leave the link in the descriptions below, all right? Now, when it comes to Symphonic as a music distribution company, I feel like Symphonic is one of the top tier music distribution companies, not, not just in cost, but in features and everything that they provide to you as a music distribution company. And this new feature is the latest example of what I'm referring to. Recently, Symphonic has released a new feature called StreamSafe. Now, for those of you who don't know what StreamSafe is, StreamSafe is essentially a feature that can detect if you are getting fake streams or streams that are created by bots, all right? it can actually identify it and let you know how much of them that you are actually getting, all right? Now, when you actually go to, uh, you to, in order to access this, before I fully explain it, let me show you guys how to access it, right? So of course you gotta log into your Symphonic account, all right? Then you're gonna see under this tab right here where it says um, stream safe. You're gonna hit stream safe, right? Then it's gonna pull up this page right here. Once this page is up, it'll literally show you if you have any tracks that have been flagged as fake streams or botted streams, all right? Now, some of you guys are probably asking, why is this important? Why do they even have this feature? Why should I care about this? Well, as an artist, you have to care about this because if this is the fastest way to get suspended by both your, your music distribution company and the digital service providers like Spotify, Apple Music, and so on and so forth. Fake streams and botted streams are against the terms and conditions of all music distribution companies, meaning DistroKid, Symphonic, all of them, and all DSPs, meaning Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, um, all of them, right? Amazon Music, all of them. It is against all of their terms and conditions, which means that if you're caught doing these things, if most of your streams are coming from bots and fake streams, then guess what? You will be suspended not only from the distribution companies, but you'll also be suspended from the digital service providers, which means that you will no longer be able to have your music on Spotify, Apple Music, or anywhere else from that point. This is something that as an artist will literally cripple your career because people won't be able to listen to your music. The only way from that point they will be able to listen to your music is if you figure out a way to get your music on your own website and get people to download it. But this day and age, people aren't downloading music. If I want to hear a new song, I'm going to Spotify. If my buddy wants to hear a new song, he's going to YouTube. It's just that simple nowadays. We live in an era for streaming. So the last thing that you want to do, you, you don't want to cripple your career by getting suspended suspended and banned from all of these DSPs and music distribution companies. It's just not good for business, which is why Symphonic decided to create this new feature. That way it could uh, detect it for you so that you at least know, all right? Now, what is what we do have to throw into the equation is that sometimes we don't know. Sometimes as artists, you know, we pay for this company to, to you know, um, curate our music and talk to these playlists and stuff, you know, and they're telling you that with these curators and stuff, they could get you these amount of streams and we don't know any better. So we're like, okay, here, here's the money. Help me do this. Then you just get the streams back. You don't know if they're fake streams or if they're coming from bots or anything like that. You just know that you pay somebody for the service and they provided the service. You don't, so it's hard for you to be able to determine as an artist if it's fake streams or not. But you don't have to worry about that because Spotify, these DSPs, as well as these distribution companies, they have all invested a lot of time and resources into 
being able to detect those things and understand if the artist is at fault or if there is or if they aren't at fault all right but this new feature this new stream safe feature is just the latest example of how important it is to make sure that your music are actually being heard by humans and you're not getting anything fake or anything like that because again that could put your entire music career in jeopardy all right but uh, to show you guys this feature again what's dope about it you could pick it up um you could view by year you could um view by different streaming services and things like that all right really really handy feature really really dope feature for symphonic to have i hope that all the other distributors follow this model and also have this feature of auto detection as well right because it can really help us as artists to know okay what's going on and also for us to make sure that real people are actually listening to our music all right but that's pretty much what this video was about just letting you guys know about this new feature now before i let you go i definitely want to let you know about my book here the 13 steps to jumpstart your music business this is for those of you who are just simply tired of your nine to five job and you want to do music full-time for the rest of your life all right there was a point in time that i was in that same exact spot all right but i figured out a way to put myself in a position to leave that nine to five job so that I can do music full time. All of those steps that I took in order to do that is in this book right here, which is what I call the 13 steps to jumpstart your music business, all right? It's all 13 steps, it's the same steps that I took. And because of these steps, I have been able to do music full time for years now. And I want the same thing for every single one of you guys who follows my channel and so on and so forth. So if you want to grab this today, you you can click on the link above. I'll also leave the link in the descriptions below to grab this. Again, it's the 13 steps to jumpstart your music business. All right, I have it as ebook form, which means you can read it today. Start reading it today and figuring it out. Or, or I have the paperback copy for those of you who actually want something physical to read. Either way, it's out here for you guys to check out. Make sure you tap into that. And that's pretty much it. That's what this video was about. Just letting you guys know about the stream safe feature that is now available on Symphonic. All right. I hope this guy, this this video helps you out. All right. Of course, if you have any additional questions or concerns, you can leave comments in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.